What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Code You Find Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In today's video, we're doing a complete review on the 18-inch length for men. The shorter, more choker style length has been popular lately. Begin a lot of requests, so I want to take time to do a complete review on the 18-inch length. With that being said, let's get started. Now, the purpose of this video is to educate and inform people regarding the shortest length for men, which would be an 18 inch. If you click this video, most likely you're researching and trying to make the best buy, rightfully so. You don't want, and the look right now is the short, tailored, kind of up close to the neck look, which I love and recommend, especially if it's your first chain or an everyday chain, but each length is very critical. Most people don't want the long 30 inch length, the 28, as seen here, a three millimeter 30 inch Franco. That look has been dated several years ago, so it's now going shorter to the neck, but if you go with an 18 inch just to be on the safe side because you want something that you could tuck in and just have a casual wear you get it on you wear it once or twice and realize you've gone too short my biggest issue with the 18 inch length is i literally feel like a boa constrictor is wrapping around my neck and that feeling gets worse throughout the day it's the same thing with like rings i wear rings and then after a few hours i'm like okay i gotta get these things off i get claustrophobic that's how i am but it's not a good feeling to have and I've heard that's the feedback I get people get it and they you know They spend a lot of money no matter what size you get gold is gold. It's expensive There's a premium you don't want to spend the money and then end up not wearing the chain because you just aren't comfortable in it That's why it's worth it to go a little bit longer to give you some breathing room So that thing is just not always rubbing around your neck and you feel like you're claustrophobic because of such a short chain the other issue with the 18 inch or shorter length chains is this issue I'm having here and I've been fighting it this whole video. I've been playing with this and bringing the chain back out because it's so short. It depends, yes, neck size and as well as what kind of shirt collar you have, but because it sits so high, it's easily just gonna get tucked in, which isn't bad. Maybe that's the look you want. You could still get a chain that offers that look. You get a great side and back view, but if you're just trying to go with this where there's the little gold hanging out, it's very tough to do and that's the same thing like with a lobster clasp if I wear my other chains I put all my lobster clasps in the back and then an hour later they're all like on the side or hanging down so it's hard to really arrange it perfectly but with the 18 inch to get it to like where you want it like here because it's a very nice look it's hard to do and then sometimes it's half in half out and that looks sloppy for the amount of money you're paying for the gold and everything you don't want a sloppy look um, at all so this look right here where it's half in half out is a no-go on my part so I like this look but very hard to do with this length and the shirt I'm wearing and for people to say you need a heavier chain so it stays put that is true but I'm not selling fake plated chains where you could spend a hundred bucks and get like a 14 millimeter choker Cuban this is all real gold and it's hard to resell when this fad dies down and people are wearing their chains a little lower. So I recommend just going with a classic look first before you go with a fad with a real gold chain, unless this is your absolute preference to have this and you kind of are okay with the points that I've made so far in this video. Now when I say classics, I mean 20, 22, 24 inch, and I will show a full neck shot here with the 18, the 20, the 22, 24, so you guys can get a good comparison and kind of reference it. The 18 inch is a decent length, but you have to be aware of what comes with it and be okay with that. I personally like the 22 inch for my everyday, 24 inch when I go with like pendants to hang a charm off so I have a nice separation, a nice layered look but the 20 inch isn't bad as well. It also has some of the problems as the 18 inch, but you just have a little more slack. Um, you're gonna deal with the chain going in the collar a little bit easier as well compared to like a 22 or a 24 or obviously 26, 28, or 30, but I like the 20 inch a little bit better than the 18 inch because at least you have some slack. It's not as claustrophobic. For me personally, if you like this look, I would go with a 20 inch to start. Of course, you have to see where you're buying it, if you can exchange it or return it. I would go 20 inch first, wear it for a few days, see how you like it. If you feel like you need to go shorter, then exchange it for an 18 inch. But I don't think you should go with an 18 inch to start off with because 
from my experience, and I do sell a lot of gold chains, the 18 inch generally does not work for a lot of people unless you go into a store and try it on and just feel comfortable with it. That's what it's all about is being comfortable. You do not want to spend all this money and be upset when you get it because you're all excited, you've been waiting for it, and then it ends up just bugging the heck out of you. That's not a good feeling at all. Let me know down below what you guys think of the 18 inch. Is this a length that's gonna get more popular over time or gonna die out and we're gonna see those longer lengths? That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.